the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Hermanos, para celebrar dignamente estos sagrados misterios, reconozcamos nuestros pecados. Tú que no has venido a condenar, sino a perdonar, Lord, have mercy. Tú que has dicho que hay gran fiesta en el cielo por un pecador que se arrepiente, Christ, have mercy. Tú que perdonas mucho a quien mucho ama, Lord, have mercy. Mi Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, our refuge in every danger, to, <coughs> to whom we turn in our distress. In faith we pray, look with compassion on the afflicted. Grant eternal rest to the dead. Come forth to mourners, healing to the sick, peace to the dying, strength to healthcare workers, wisdom to our leaders, and the courage to reach out to all in love, so that together we may give glory to your holy name. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. This word of the Lord came to me. Go, cry out this message for Jerusalem to hear. I remember the devotion of your youth, how you loved me as a bride, following me in the desert in a land unsown. Sacred to the Lord was Israel, the first fruits of his harvest. Should any presume to partake of them, evil would befall them, says the Lord. When I brought you into the garden land to eat its goodly fruits, you entered and defiled my land. You made my heritage loathsome. The priests asked not, where is the Lord? Those who dealt with the law knew me not. The shepherds rebelled against me. The prophets prophesied by, by Baal and went after useless idols. Be amazed at this, O heavens, and shudder with sheer horror, says the Lord. Two evils have my people done. They have forsaken me, the source of living waters. They have dug themselves cisterns, broken cisterns that hold no water. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. With you is the fountain of life, O Lord. With you is the fountain of life, O Lord. O Lord. Your mercy reaches to heaven, your faithfulness to the clouds. Your justice is like the mountains of God, your judgments like the mighty deep. With you is the fountain of life, O Lord. How precious is your mercy, O God. The children of men take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They have their fill of the prime gifts of your house. From your delightful stream, you give them to drink. With you is the fountain of life, O Lord. For with you is the fountain of life, and in your light, we see light. Keep up your mercy toward your friends, your just defense of the upright of heart. With you is the fountain of life, O Lord. 
Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. El Señor esté con ustedes. Lectura del Santo Evangelio según San Mateo. En aquel tiempo se acercaron a Jesús sus discípulos y le preguntaron, ¿Por qué les hablas en parábolas? Él les Respondió, a ustedes se les ha concedido conocer los misterios del reino de los cielos, pero a ellos no, para, pero a ellos no. Al que tiene se le dará más y nadará en la abundancia, pero el que tiene poco, aún eso poco se le Quetara. Por eso les hablo en parábolas, porque viendo no ven y oyendo no oyen ni entienden. En ello se cumple aquella profecía de Isaías que dice, Ustedes oirán una y otra vez y no entenderán. Mirarán y volverán a mirar, pero no verán, porque este pueblo ha endurecido su corazón, ha cerrado sus ojos y tapado sus oídos, con el fin de no ver con los ojos, ni ver con los oídos, ni comprender con el corazón. ¿Por qué no quieren convertirse ni que yo los salve? Pero dichosos ustedes, porque sus ojos ven y sus oídos oyen. Yo les aseguro que muchos profetas y muchos justos desearon ver lo que ustedes ven y no lo vieron y oír lo que ustedes oyen y no lo oyeron. Palabra del Señor. Today, we remember the, the encomium of our Lord Jesus Christ that he addressed to those around him in those days. Blessed are your eyes because they see, and your ears because they hear. And we wonder, can our Lord's words be also intended for us, or only for those who saw and heard him directly or personally? It looks like they, who were lucky enough to share their lives, with our Lord Jesus, and physically and sensibly remain by his side, should be the only blessed ones. Whereas we should rather belong in the group of the upright people and prophets, without being either the upright ones or the prophets, we would have liked to see and hear. But we should not forget the Lord is referring to righteous people and prophets before his arrival, before his revelation. 
For I tell you that many prophets and upright people would have longed to see the things you see, but they did not. Our Lord tells us in the Gospel reading, The fullness of time is brought with him, and we find ourselves in this fullness. We are already in our Lord, or in our Lord's time, in salvation's time. Certainly, we have not seen our Lord with our own eyes, but we indeed know him or known him. We do know him. We have not heard his voice with our own ears, but we have definitely heard his words. We do hear them. The knowledge of our faith gives us, even though not perceptible, is a true knowledge, which brings us near to the truth, making us, therefore, feel happy and joyful. So let us be grateful to our Christian faith. Let us be joyous. Let us try to make our relationship with our Lord not a remote one, but as close as possible as that of those disciples who were by his side, who saw and heard him and mingled with him. Let us not look at our Lord from today to yesterday, but, but from today to today. Let us actually share his time, a never-ending time. Prayer to speak with the Lord and the Eucharist to receive him. Assure us, or assure us of this nearness to him and make us really happy while looking at him with the eyes and ears of our faith. As the famous Saint Augustine once said, and I quote, Receive therefore God's image that you lost because of your bad deeds, end of quote. Hoy recordamos la alabanza dirigida por nuestro Señor Jesús a quienes se agrupaban junto a Él. Dichosos tus ojos porque ven y tus oídos porque oyen. Y nos preguntamos, ¿van dirigidas también a nosotros estas palabras de nuestro Señor Jesucristo, o son únicamente para quienes lo vieron y escucharon directamente. Parece que los dichosos son ellos, pues tuvieron la muerte, tuvieron la suerte de convivir con nuestro Señor Jesús, de permanecer física y sensiblemente a su lado. Mientras que nosotros nos co contaríamos más bien entre los justos y profetas, sin ser justos ni profetas, que habríamos querido ver y oír. No ol olvidemos, sin embargo, que el Señor se refiere a los justos y profetas anteriores a su venida, a su revelación. Os aseguro que muchos profetas y justos desearon ver lo que ustedes ves, pero no lo vieron, dice nuestro Señor Jesús. Con él llega la plenitud de los tiempos, y nosotros estamos en esta plenitud, estamos ya en el tiempo de nuestro Señor Jesucristo, en el tiempo de la salvación. Es verdad que no hemos visto a nuestro Señor Jesús con nuestros ojos, 
pero si liimos conocido, ili conocimos. Y no hemos escuchado su voz con nuestros oídos, pero si que hemos escuchado, escuchamos sus palabras. El conocimiento que la fe nos da, aunque no es sensible, es un auténtico conocimiento, nos pone en contacto con la verdad y por eso nos da la felicidad y la alegría. Agradezcamos nuestra fe cristiana, estemos contentos de ella, entendemos que nuestro trato con nuestro Señor Jesús sea cercano y no lejano, tal como le trataban aquellos discípulos que estaban junto a él, que le vieron y oyeron. No miremos a nuestro Señor Jesús yendo del presente al pasado, sino del presente al presente. Estemos realmente en su tiempo, un tiempo que no acaba. La oración, hablar con Dios y la Eucaristía, recibirle, nos aseguran esta prox proximidad con Él y nos hacen realmente dichosos al mirarlo con ojos y oídos de fe. Recibe pues la imagen de Dios que perdiste por tus malas obras, dice San Agustín. Today we celebrate the optional memorial of Saint Bridget. Hoy celebramos la memorial optional de Santa Brigida. Jesus told his listeners that they were fortunate to have seen and heard him, and so we pray. We pray that the church may constantly give thanks to God for the gift of Jesus Christ, by worthily celebrating the liturgy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those in our society who are deprived and disadvantaged, that we may never forget our obligations towards them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for people who are blinded by sinfulness and selfishness, that they may have their eyes open to see themselves as they really are. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
We pray for those who turn a deaf ear to the gospel, that they may come to hear the word of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for people who have not heard of Jesus Christ, that through the church's missionary activity, they may come to know him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Thank you. For all essential workers and frontliners, that they will be freed from the infection of the coronavirus, we pray to the Lord. Lord For the spiritual needs of Dolores Espinosa, let us pray to the Lord. Lord God, our Father, we believe that no prayer goes unanswered, and so we ask you to listen to these, our prayers, which we make through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness <clears throat> we have this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. <clears throat> Bendito sea, Señor Dios del Universo, por este vino, fruto de la vid y del trabajo del hombre, que recibimos de tu generosidad, y ahora te presenta, presentamos el será para nosotros, vivida de salvación. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Oren, hermanos, para que este sacrificio mío y de ustedes y agradable a Dios para todo poderoso. Acepta, Señor, los dones que te ofrecemos en este tiempo de peligro, y haz que por tu poder se conviertan para nosotros en fuente de sanación y de paz. Por eso, Cristo, nuestro Señor. El Señor esté con ustedes. Levantemos el corazón. Demos gracias al Señor nuestro Dios. En verdad es justo y necesario, es nuestro deber y salvación, darte gracias siempre en todo lugar. Señor Padre Santo, Dios Todopoderoso y Eterno, pues aunque no necesitas de nuestra alabanza, es don tuyo que seamos agradecidos. Y aunque nuestras bendiciones no aumentan tu gloria, nos aprovechan para nuestra salvación. Por Cristo, Señor nuestro. Por eso, unidos a los ángeles, te aclamamos llenos de alegría. Santo, santo, santo es el Señor, Dios del Universo, 
llenos están el cielo y la tierra de tu gloria, oh sana en el cielo. Bendito el que viene en nombre del Señor, oh sana en el cielo. You are indeed holy, O Lord, a fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jophol, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Así pues, Padre, al celebrar ahora el memorial de la muerte y resurrección de tu Hijo, te ofrecemos el pan de vida y el cáliz de salvación. Te damos gracias porque nos haces dignos de servirte en tu presencia. Te pedimos humildemente que el Espíritu Santo congregue en la unidad a cuantos participamos del cuerpo y la sangre de Cristo. Acuérdate, Señor, de tu iglesia extendida por toda la tierra, y con el Papa Francisco, con nuestro Obispo Mayron, y todos los pastores que cuidan de tu pueblo, llévala a su perfección por la caridad. Acuérdate también de nuestros hermanos que se dormieron en la esperanza de la resurrección y de todos los que han muerto en tu misericordia. Admítelos a contemplar la luz de tu rostro. Ten misericordia de todos nosotros y así con María, la Virgen Madre de Dios, su esposo San José, los apóstoles, con Santa Francesca de Roma y Santa Brígida, y cuantos vivieron en tu amistad a través de los tiempos, merezcamos por tu Hijo Jesucristo compartir la vida eterna y cantar tus alabanzas. Por Cristo, con Él y en Él, a ti, Dios Padre Omnipotente, en la unidad del Espíritu Santo, todo honor y toda gloria por los siglos de los siglos. Fieles a la recomendación del Salvador y siguiendo su divina enseñanza, nos atrevimos a decir... Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu reino. Hágase tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día. Perdona nuestras ofensas, 
como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. No nos dejes caer en la tentación y líbranos del mal. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. 